When you have several parts that will be programmed on the same machine or with a similar setup, you can use templates to avoid work you keep repeating, such as setting up a tool list, adding a machine setup, adding a post processor, changing your simulation settings, adding layers, creating geometry, using embedded macros, or anything else in a spree file could contain. Generally, there are two ways to set up a template file. The first way involves adding details to a blank document, while the second way requires removing part-specific elements, such as features, toolpaths, part solids, and geometry from a completed document, and leaving only the general elements, such as tools, fixtures, layers, machine setup, and NC output settings, and then simply doing a save as as an Esprit template file. In this example, we will build a template starting from a blank document for a lathe that has standard tooling. The first thing we will do is go to File New and open up a blank document. Next, we're going to set our unit by going to Tools, System Unit, and choosing Metric to set our unit as Metric, which will be shown in the lower right-hand corner of our screen. Next, I want to add my Machine Setup, which I will do by going to Common Machining, Machine Setup, and then right-clicking and choosing Open to load in an EMS file. Next, I'm going to go to the NC Output tab and choose Settings to load in my post processor file. Once I've done that, I can hit OK on my machine setup, and I'm going to go to the Tools tab in my Project Manager to add in a tool list. I'm going to right click and choose File, Open, and add in an ETL file. Now that I've added my tools and my machine setup, I'm going to add some layers by choosing this button, which I can also open by hitting F11. And aside from the default layer, I'm going to add a layer for my part, a layer for my stock, and a layer for machining. Adding layers is a good way to promote consistency and organization across multiple programs. I'm going to activate my part layer so that when I open up this template file to start programming, my part solid will be added to the corresponding layer. You can also save simulation settings in a template file. Now that I've set up my machining environment, I'm going to save everything into a template file. First, I'm going to orient my simulation so that when I save my template file, I'll have a view of it in my template dialog window. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and change my file type to EST for an Esprit template file, and save this in my templates folder. So I'm going to go to Documents, DP Technology, Esprit, Data, templates. Then I can name my file and save it as an EST. If I'm unsure of where to save my template, I can go to Tools, Options, File Locations, and the location of my templates folder is listed. If I do not save my template in this location, it will not show up in my template dialog window when I hit File New. So now I'm going to open up my template by going to File New. And when I select my template from this dialog window, I should see the preview here. And as long as I've saved it in that designated folder, it will show up in this list. If the template dialog does not display when I hit File New, I can go to Tools, Options, Input, and make sure that I, that I have Show Template Dialog checked. You can also open a template file using File Open. Now that my template is open, I can bring in a solid or drawing file to begin programming. To bring in my solid, I'll go to File Open, and make sure that the Merge button is checked in the lower left-hand corner. If the Merge button is not checked, 
then my solid will open in a new document rather than in my template file. So I'm going to navigate to my solid model. And merge it into my template. Also, to avoid overriding your template file, it's helpful to go to File, Save As, and save this as a new ESP file right away. The template file you choose at the start only affects the file that you just saved and has no bearing on any future files. It also does not retroactively change any files. You must select a template at the beginning of your program if you want to use it when you start a new file. Thank you so much for watching the Esprit Tips and Tricks video for setting up a template file. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new.